So we're going to talk about using Pythagorean theorem to find area and perimeter um, of a shape. Now, it's not always going to be a very simple uh, one like this first one. I'm going to give a couple more examples. So you got to think about your skill and how to apply it. So this is a right triangle, sides 3, 4, 5. Um, that's one of those special ones we know that work. So to find perimeter, remember perimeter is adding all sides together. So when we look at perimeter of something, it's like putting a fence around it. Um, and so we need to know how much we need, adding all sides. So this would be 3 plus 4 plus 5. And then with 3 plus 4, give us 7. 7 plus 5 gives us 12. So this would be 12 units for a perimeter. Okay. For area, you've got to think about the shape that you have. This is a triangle, so we've got to remember base times height divided by 2. So our base, and it doesn't matter if we have it, this is our base, or if we turned it, this would be our base, but our, our, pot, our hypotenuse is never our base. So base, I'm just going to say 4 times 3, and then divided by 2. So 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 2 is 6 units, and anytime we're talking about area, it's units squared. All right, so let's do another example. So let's look at an equilateral triangle. So this is an equilateral triangle. One side is marked as 10. So we know that if that's 10, then all the pieces are 10. I drew a little line right through the middle to show our height. It splits it exactly in two. That means that this side here and this side here are congruent. Well, if the whole thing's 10 and they're congruent or the same, that means this is five and this is five. So now we can use that knowledge and find out what that little dotted line's height is. So basically what it's telling us, if we look at just this section, I'll use a different color here. If I look at just this piece right here, I have a right triangle with a hypotenuse of 10 and one of the legs as 5. So I can use my Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Plug in what I know. I don't know a, but I do know that what b is and I know what c is. And then I'm going to solve. 5 squared gives me 25. Still don't know a squared. And then this is 100. And then minus 25, minus 25, and I get 75 is a squared. Take the square root, square root. A is the square root of 75. That means this little piece right here, square root of 75. And if that was a perfect square, I could get a perfect answer. Then to find my perimeter. I know I would add all sides. So in this case, the perimeter would be 30. And then to get area, I would take base times height divided by 2. And you could use your calculator for that part. This is a little um, more intense example. I wanted to give you something with the square root. Most of the ones you're going to do are going to be solid numbers.